Hello everybody and uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. And today our topic is light. In fact, we're going to have a series of lessons in light. And today is the introduction. And we're using the wonderful textbook written by really experts, eminent experts, which they have come down to the level of uh, students, broke down, broken down the whole uh, topic into small parts and given such a depth of understanding. It's really fantastic. So we are going to be like a bridge between this book, SSC AP, uh, physics book, physical science book and you. So the, this chapter 3, uh, page number 45. Reflection of light by different surfaces. Reflection of light by different surfaces. So it can be plain, it can be curved. In, uh, in the earlier class, we have learnt about shadows. And we carried out many experiments with light rays and also discussed the rectilinear propagation of light going in a straight line. That is light travels in a straight line. In the later classes, we also learned the laws of reflection. So I think it would be a good idea to recall all of them. A source of light, an opaque object and a screen are needed to form a shadow. So how do we get shadow? This light here, we put a opaque object here and then you get a shadow. So we need a source of light. We need an opaque object to stop it and we need a screen uh, are needed to form a shadow. We need a screen to catch the shadow. Light travels in a straight line. Third point is when light gets reflected from a surface, the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. In this unit, in this chapter, we'll find out how it comes about that the angle of uh, uh, incidence and the angle of reflection leads to the distance of the object. We'll go in a detailed way. But for now, we know the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. The incident ray, the incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray lie in the same plane. They don't go like this. So suppose this is the incident ray, this is the normal and this is the reflected ray. So these all these three rays lie in the same plane. If I put a book like this, it will all be on this book. You must have observed shadows and images in your daily life. Now he is telling you to look at the world. Some questions might have come to your mind while observing these shadows or images. Why does our image appear thin or bulged or in funny shapes out in some mirrors? Some kind of mirrors or reflecting surfaces, you, our, the, our whole face becomes small or big or bulged. Suppose you have a small container like that, you know, which is reflecting, which is a, made of steel and it can reflect your face. You'll find your face in different funny shapes. Why is it like that? Why is there right left inversion when we look into a mirror? So when I when you stand in front of the mirror, my eye is that side. This eye goes that and this eye goes this way. Why is there? It is called right left inversion. No. When we look into a mirror, can we focus sunlight at a point? using a mirror instead of a magnifying glass. So we know that with a magnifying glass, we can focus sunlight. We can sometimes even burn paper. Can we do that with a mirror? Why is the angle of reflection equal to the angle of incidence when a light ray gets reflected from a surface? What a deep question this is. Why is the angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection? How do we know that? Are the angle of reflection and angle of incidence also equal for reflection by curved surfaces. What happened in curved surfaces? What happens in curved, slightly curved surfaces, curved mirrors? This chapter is all about reflection. In this uh, chapter, we are going to learn about reflection of light in depth and detail so that we can answer the above questions. And all the questions are fantastic questions. So in the uh, next lesson, uh, we will start with activity one. This is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Khan. Thank you.